Hello, Justin here from the Clon Bike Festival. We're celebrating our 10th festival this year and to just show how much Clon loves bikes, we're inviting all of you guys to get involved in the Big Kiss Public Art Project. We want as many of you to get arty, get messy, get creative and create your very own funky, customized piece of bike art you can make it out of stuff from your recycling bin and here's how you do it okay so to make this bike we're going to need a few things we're going to need a couple of these these are just jam jar lids that are probably going to go into your recycling or into your bin so get two of those it's good if they're the same size but it doesn't matter maybe it's going to look funky if they're different sizes we're going to need some material to make the parts of the bike frame. So we used uh, a Tetra pack because it's kind of waterproof and the rain won't get to it. But you could use anything that you can cut with scissors. So maybe a milk bottle or anything that's going to survive the rain. A bit of glue and some scissors. Okay, so the first thing to do is glue these bike wheels together and let them set. I'm going to put a little bit glue just on the front edge like that and then I'm gonna put it, oops, put it together hopefully it's gonna set okay so while that's setting we're gonna cut this up and uh, there's really We really just need like a flat piece of this so that we can cut the triangles for the bike frame. So I'm going to just cut this nice piece here. You could use any actually colour that you want to. This is quite cool because it's silver on the inside. There it is, it's already been washed. And what we need to do is cut like, if I show you here, two triangles, one big triangle, one small triangle two pieces for the front forks and the handlebars and a piece for the saddle. So here we go, here's a one triangle which is going to, mm, that could be the back one. Like that. And we need another triangle like kind of like this. It's going to look pretty cool. Then maybe I'm just going to cut like the front forks. Let's do a long strip and then a bit off the top like that. And I can stick on like that. And then we need a saddle. Let's do the saddle. Saddle that you can stick your bum on like that. Now. Hopefully these have uh, glued together, yeah. So now all we need to do is glue this onto the front forks. So we're gonna glue our handlebar on, bang. We're gonna glue the main part of the frame on. Kinda like that. Let's put a bit here and a bit here. Nice. We're going to glue the back part of the frame on, like that. Put a little bit on. Super glue is really good stuff, but you've got to be careful you don't stick your own finger to it. Uh, we'll put the saddle on. You need somewhere to sit on your bike. It's going to be a low saddle, it's a kid's bike. And then we'll do our front forks. Kind of like that. Oops. Bit of glue. And now, we'll leave that to dry. And our bike should be ready to go. I'm going to give this one to Roisin and she's going to decorate it. Thanks, Justin. 
So let's get decorating this. You can use whatever you like. I've just grabbed some random things because this is metal and this is um, Tetra Pak. You're better off using our acrylic paint because it probably won't take poster paint. So if you have some acrylic paint, that's great. Um, anything really that's permanent. So I have a permanent marker for some details. Get a grown up to help you with those kind of things. And I have these gold and silver pins. You literally grab anything that you have to hand. I got some tin foil. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but let's see what happens. And then these metal wire that I grabbed. So if you had like a anything in your recycling bin, really, um, for wrapping or decorating. So I'm going to put out this paint and we're going to get decorating our bicycle. So I've opted for some yellow and black. I'm going to just choose colors that you like or whatever you want. But acrylic paint is great because it won't um, wash off. And because we're going to maybe display these in outdoor areas, uh, they'll be a little bit more durable. So, yeah, I'm just going to paint the whole thing now with this acrylic paint. Okay, there we have the layer one paint. Now I'm just going to add some more detail because it's a little bit messy. But get the drift, just put down on whatever colors you like. Now, there we go. I just added on with um, a Sharpie. Some little decoration i just put some little random flowers all over and some spokes and it only takes a couple of minutes to do it's really good fun i'm gonna go make now these little pieces to stick on with tin foil if you grab some tin foil from something old they're really nice to sculpt little um sculptures in and they're really fast like here we are just making a little flower super fast super easy and there's always tin foil left over from things at the inside of wrappers or sweet wrappers and I'm going to make some of these little flowers and attach them around the bike as well just to add some more little flowers. Got a little flower theme going on here. So if you had some other materials from your recycling bin, perhaps you could make some little sculptures, uh, little things to stick onto your bike and decorate it any way you like. Because it doesn't have to be a realistic bike. It can be as creative as you want it. If you have some wire as well, that's another way to make lovely little details. There's usually some old wire left from things in that go in the bin or going waste so you can carve a little <laughs> that's a very messy flower but you get the gist of it you spend more time doing it you can carve little things and um, attach them to your bike as well that could be fun there we go messy fast doesn't take long great fun there's my little flower on the top of him and i added a little basket to the back so he can put his shopping in put my flowers on that was good fun to do they don't take long to make or decorate guys so have fun being creative with your little bike decorations i can't wait to see what everybody comes up with use whatever you have at home as always doesn't have to be thing and it'd be great if they look all really different my bike got a bit carried away there with the flowers but have fun once you've made your bike as funky groovy and customized as possible don't forget to write your name on the back in permanent marker in case it rains and deliver it into the bike circus in Clonakilty next to Spillers Lane. If you can't get into town you can always mail it to us at the address in the description. We're going to take all these bikes and we're going to put them all over the town. There's going to be a prize for the best art creation and there's also going to be a prize on the Saturday of the Bike Fest for whoever can find all of these across the town. Looking forward to seeing your bike art.